welcome back to Howling Acres Homestead. Today is my least favorite day on the homestead. It is butchering day for our meat birds. Uh, we have ordered and raised uh, 15 or 16 Cornish Cross uh, meat birds. We have already decided that this is going to be the first and last time that we raise this kind of bird for a few reasons. Uh, and no flack to anyone that raises them. It's just, uh, it's not for us and I'm gonna tell you why. So we've raised up heritage breed roosters uh, earlier this year that we processed uh, and we really like that meat uh, and I'm sure we'll like this Cornish cross meat as well. It is the same kind uh, mostly that you would get from the grocery store. Uh, it's the one that everyone's used to. We are just decided that we are not going to raise them again. Our philosophy here and the reason why we are raising our meat and our cells the best that we can is for ethical meat consumption. Uh, we want to make sure that the animals that we eat have lived uh, fulfilling lives, happy lives up until the day that they are processed and unfortunately uh, we just don't feel that that is in line. These birds are in line with that philosophy. So these birds have been bred specifically for meat which means that they have been bred and bred and bred and bred to grow as big as possible as quickly as possible. So in their very short six week lifespan, that's as long as they live, they all they do is eat and grow bigger. And unfortunately, that means that there are side effects to that. So they don't grow in all of their feathers often because they don't have the energy to grow feathers. All they're doing is putting on mass. Two is that if you let them go longer than eight to 12 weeks max, they're just going to die. Their legs are gonna give out under them because they're too big to carry them. They're gonna die of heart attacks because their little hearts just can't keep up with their giant bodies. And we just don't feel that that's right. So we'll, we have raised these birds the best we can. We've raised them on pasture. We move them every day to fresh grass. They get, get to feel the sun on their skin uh, and on, the, on, their, uh, on their bodies, unlike these factory raised birds. We've done the best that we can we feel with raising these birds but unfortunately there's only so much that we can do uh, to give these birds a good life just due to their breed and their breeding so we have raised these birds for the last six weeks uh, and we will process them the best then most ethically and quickest way that we can uh, but after that we will no longer be raising these kinds of birds and we've decided that we will do what we did earlier in the season and we will raise up extra roosters heritage breed roosters um, which live a much longer life so they cost more to raise uh, but they have a much happier life a healthier life and uh, we just feel it's the more ethical way for us to consume chicken in our lives so this is our processing setup uh, for what we have right now so our first step is our killing cone here it is a milk jug that has been cut at both ends the upside down of the bird will actually help sedate them a little bit and make them more comfortable and less panicky uh, which is what we feel uh, and what lots of people, the way lots of people process birds on their property um, is a nice um, ethical way to, to dispatch the bird. From there they will go to the scalding process and they will go into this hot water for one to two minutes and that will help loosen up the, uh, the feathers and will make it easier for plucking. A lot of step for the next people after that would be to put them into a plucking machine. We do not have one, they're very expensive. We may get one down the line, but we will do hand plucking, which is just as good. It just takes a bit longer. So from there, they come here, and this is where we do the evisceration. So that's the removal of uh, the internal organs, um, as well as, and then we parcel them out. Uh, we will leave these birds whole, uh, and then we will butcher them later into pieces if we like. And then from here, they go into an ice bath. We like to do um, a saltwater ice bath that helps brine them at the same time. And they will go in there for 24 hours, and then we can uh, put them in the freezer or whatever we like with them after that. So here we have one of the birds in the cone. It is still alive, but just sedate because of the upside down um, positions, as you can see. So what Danny's going to do is make a two slits on either side of the neck, which will get both of the arteries, and it will be a quick, um, a quick death, and they will be gone before he knows what happens. So here we go.
So now we rinse the bird now that it has been plucked. Give it a good rinse. Inside and outside. And off to the water bath. So it's the next day. Our chickens were in a saltwater brine uh, with ice bath water for overnight, and then we butchered them this morning. So we kept a few of them as whole birds, but it's just the two of us. So we don't eat whole chicken, roast chicken uh, very often. So we kept a couple of them whole, uh, and then we butchered out the rest into legs, breast, wings, um, all that stuff. The chicken backs, we also separated out. They won't go to waste. Uh, we put them into uh, separate bags that we will feed to the dogs as well. Uh, it's good nutrition for them and, and they really love it. So nothing goes to waste here. As for the numbers, we had 14 birds. We uh, ordered 12. I picked up 16. <laughs> and uh, one of them unfortunately died quite early on, uh, which, which happens. And then one of them, we the first one that we put through the scalder, we actually had it too hot and we actually partially cooked it. So that one we butchered out uh, and gave that one to the dogs that night right away. So we have 14 birds for ourselves. Of those 14 birds, uh, they average at about a weight of uh, 1.9 kilograms. All that together totaled uh, 25.7, 25.8 kilograms, which works out to about 61 pounds of meat that we put into our freezer uh, for ourselves. In terms of the numbers for cost, we figured uh, based on uh, the feed and the cost of the chicks themselves, we spent about $1.89 per pound, which is really good. But like I mentioned yesterday, we won't be doing the, these, this breed of bird again. Um, and unfortunately, um, that does mean our cost per pound will go up because we will be keeping the birds for longer. Uh, but we do feel, like I said, that that is the most ethical way for, we feel, um, for us to be raising chicken for ourselves. So stay tuned for, I guess, probably sometime next summer where we will do the cost comparison versus, versus the Cornish Cross um, and the heritage breed roosters that we will do next year. And we will keep log of that and that way we can also see the cost comparison for these birds. So thanks for joining us again at Howling Acres Homestead. We'll see you next time. You're on. Okay. We're good? Yes, we're good. Okay, we're good. Shit! <laughs> just keep, just keep going. <laughs> Go! Ding! From there, uh, we will uh, do the eviscerate. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> As for weight, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> 